Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sereko Kayongo Julius, and I'm going to be taking you through this AI model, which is used to detect plant diseases, specifically tomato diseases. In Uganda, one of the major challenges to tomato farmers is pests and diseases. Their tomatoes are affected by a variety of pests and diseases. This problem leads to food insecurity and some significant losses, for example, like failure to, to, to get good harvest. However, with this AI model, it will accurately detect and it will lead to early treatment of these diseases so as to reduce the, their effects. The AI model will recognize the disease captured by the farmer using cameras of various resolutions. Yeah, I've used this data set which comprises of images and the AI model will use the various plant images taken, thereby preventing, preventing the process of collecting and analyzing samples in the laboratory. The larger the number of images, and this will lead to our effective work of the model. The factors considered when selecting the database, the data set are uh, accuracy, and for accuracy, this was done by collecting images of various tomato plant leaves, and the second one is relevance. Relevancy, we decided to collect nine distinct plant diseases and one of healthy class, which will be used to train and validate and test the AI model. For the case of quantity, the AI model will use large amounts of data to, success, to, to successfully detect and recognize the diseases. Variability, here, we, co we collected the various sets of images, including, including various diseases to cater for the various conditions where a plant can have more than one disease. Features of the data set include images of infected leaves. These show different patterns along with which the infection status has occurred. The shape, diseases show different shapes according to their different stages of the infections. And common disease names, these relate to us to classify the categories under which various diseases are likely to fall. The spots and color, various diseases show different color and spots according to the type of disease. When we proceed with Bay theorem, the foundation of Bayes' theorem is conditional probability, and this enables us to determine the probability given a hypothesis. Bayes' theorem is given by given the probability of A. When you want to find the probability of A given the probability of B, you use that formula, like the one for probability of other places. And in this case, A given B is the probability of event A occurring given that B has already occurred. Probability of B given A is simply the probability of B occurring given that A has occurred. Probability of A, this refers to the probability of A occurring. Probability of B simply is the probability of B occurring. When we continue with Bayesian theory, we'll have this example, like it will be used to predict if a farmer will go to the garden given that the weather conditions are favorable, maybe. Probability of attending will be equal to yes if the weather is good. And you first of all have to collect the raw data. And in the raw data, this may contain the various, the various scenarios where a farmer has been going to the garden with the various weather conditions. Then you have to convert the data into frequency tables then you calculate the column sum and get the probabilities. 
probability, the probability of a farmer going to the garden given that the weather is a success over the weather is sunny will be given by the formula above. Naive Bayes theorem. This refers to a probabilistic classifier and designed for models that show strong independent assumptions. The independent assumptions don't have any impact in reality, hence naive. And for the case of its uses, we use it in text classification, creating of classification models. A naive Bayes theorem is derived from the Bayes theorem whereby here we have different conditions which are independent of one another. And you simply multiply through to get the formula for naive Bayes theorem. When you continue with naive Bayes theorem, you continue with an example. And this in this example, we are going to determine or determine the cause of tomato bacteria given the many images corresponding to the disease. For the case of Bayesian networks, they enable us to build probability models by combining the observed and recorded evidence to establish a likelihood. Basically, they need graphical models that display variables in form of nodes in a data set and conditional independences between them. Each node has associated probability information that qualifies it, the effect of parent on the node using the finite number of parameters they are given to make prediction of the situation. For the case of these Bayesian networks, you need to have like a given node and its parent such that you can derive its probability given that the parent is as required. Bayesian theorem is different from Bayes' Bayes rule, and these are one of the classifications and some of the differences between them. Conditional probability of Bayes' theorem uses independence relationships between inputs and they are dependent. Conditional probability uses dependence, i.e. relationships between inputs are dependent. It's used to calculate single probability given multiple features. And the third difference is in the Bayesian theory notation, which is given by the formula above. For the case of naive Bayes, assumption assumes conditional independence, i.e. relationships between all input and independence. Incorporate multiple features for which gives it its unique formula for having the multiple independent features. The second difference will be between Bayesian networks and Bayes rule. Bayesian networks, these are graphical models that display variables in a data set and probabilistic independences between them. The target fields that can be categorical what we mean is like a field having various categories. Naive Bayes rules. Naive Bayes algorithm is a probabilistic classifier and designed for models that show strong independent assumptions. For the case of independent assumptions, we have whereby a condition does not need to depend on another. And the second difference is it incorporates multiple features. That marks the end of our slideshow. Thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe and, and stay tuned.